Dear Emily, there's no one else on earth I'd rather share my life with and I'm so excited to be your husband. I have no doubts. I've known since the first time we met that you were going to be mine forever. You're my true love. I didn't believe in soulmates, but then you came along and changed everything. I thought life was good before you came along, but since we've been together, I've been happier than ever I thought I could be. You make, you make me content. I promise to love you. <laughs> every day for the rest of my life even when it gets hard but knowing us it's going to be way more good times than bad and way more smiles than tears I'm so thankful for you thank you for saying yes to be my wife lovely oh. <laughs> what's the picture of the front? it's a sort of stop <laughs> I didn't realise how it's going to feel today. I've been sort of... Um, <sighs> when I went to the uh, the hotel, right, and uh, to pick up Emily, I just didn't realise the emotion I was going to feel about giving away my daughter. I knocked on the door and there's all this, shh, let's go around, let's get in position and everything else like that. And then over the door, and there was uh, uh, the young lad there with his camera, and there was Emily center stage, right, in a dress, all sort of, put out, all the lovely bridesmaids all around in their glittery dresses and everything. And I, I was just astounded. I just didn't expect that. I just thought, go up, pick her up, wheel her out, and uh, down the road we go. Liam, so here we are on our wedding day with everyone we love, witnessing our promises to each other. Emily, I feel overwhelmingly lucky to be standing beside you today. You are my best friend, my confidant. Marrying you is truly my every desire fulfilled. You make me feel the best version of myself. You make me feel happiness. And who knew that happiness could simply be a warm cuddle from you or a coffee in bed with you in the morning. I vow to be your loving and devoted husband, without judgment, but always with an open heart and mind. You have filled my life with so much joy and given me a sense of love that I have never known. I am so proud of everything we have overcome together, and I can't, cannot wait to discover what happens next in our lives. Or put into words how happy I am that our everyday will be spent together. I promise to always give you a home in this vast universe somewhere safe with an infinite amount of warm cuddles. I promise to keep learning from your unrequited kindness to others. And remember you are only human when you leave the wardrobe door open. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to encourage you to try things out of your comfort zone and also bear some of the weight when it doesn't work out. We are soulmates with unending happiness in good times and bad. I promise to love you unconditionally I promise to grow old with you and support you always, to be devoted above all others, and finding you, my wife, a light to me that is home. Oh. I promise to be the faithful wife and friend you deserve. And now, having made the declaration required by the law of this country, and having made a solemn and binding promise in the presence of your witnesses, your family and friends here today. It gives me great pleasure to declare you are now husband and wife. Congratulations, give each other As many of you know, Emily and I met at university. 
Our friends Dave and Lauren have a running joke to us who set us up. I'm not sure if they're trying to take the credit or dodge the blame, to be honest. <laughs> I remember the very day we met. It was the 18th of August at Emily's house party in Oxford. It's a great party. Emily really knows how to have fun and I'm sure the bridesmaids can bang me up here. If she's in full-on party mode, you often hear her before you see her. <laughs> Afterwards, with a combination of perseverance and more perseverance, as you know, I managed to convince Emily to come out for a drink with me. That day turned out to be a disaster and it won't, be, won't surprise you to hear that our next day wasn't for another year or so. <laughs> but once I got to know Emily, I discovered someone I'm incredibly special. Funny yet kind and, kind and considerate. I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her and I also knew I wanted to do the traditional thing and ask her dad's permission. <laughs> that ended up being quite interesting. When I arrived at Colin's house, he was clearly in, but he wouldn't answer the door. He had performed a disappearing act worthy of David Copperfield. So the next day I called him on my lunch break. We spoke for about 20 minutes or so before I finally asked him. There was a long silence. You could hear a pin drop. His answer was worth waiting for though. It was kind of a groan. As Colin's speaking next after we've eaten, I suspect I'm going to hear the sentiment behind the groan expressing lots of jokes at my expense. But I can take it. After all, I have taken his daughter. So if I was mildly anxious about permission, for asking for his permission, the proposal was something else. The night before we went to the cinema, I was so nervous about proposing the next day that I actually threw up. When I got home that evening, I was sweating so much, Emily wanted, to see me, wanted me to see a doctor. The stress I'd put myself under, all I had to do was carry a ring a few hundred meters through Hyde Park. I was so nervous, I actually forgot to go down on one knee. But thankfully I got the words out okay, and I don't think I'm spoiling the story by saying that Emily said yes. And I couldn't be more delighted that she did. And now that I'm standing beside her as her husband, in all the years we've known each other and been together, we've had countless incredible times, and I can't wait to, to start the next stage of our life and enjoy the crazy adventures that seem to come our way. Emily, I love you. You've made me incredibly happy. I'm so proud that you've chosen to be with me, and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together.